Hello everyone, today we're out here on Hirschfelden and we're in search for a trophy red deer stag. Now I would like to find one that's going to be 260 plus and we have to take them out with either the carbon recurve or the camel pulsar. Alright, so I was going to do a video on finding a trophy red deer and that didn't work out so good. There he is guys. We just found a monster stag. Finally. Now we're going to pop up and take him with the camel pulsar. We got a female right next to us now, so we don't have too much time. And the wind is blowing right at the stag. Oh my god, we just hit the tree. How does that happen? Last time I checked, this is not very realistic because I've never seen an arrow get stuck maybe four inches away from a tree. So, yeah, that's not cool. So I think we could take that shot. Now he's coming right at us. And he's about 30 right there, maybe even 20. And he's down. Well, he looks pretty good. He definitely has some really good tops on him on both sides. He's not quite as wide as I would like, but let's see what he scores. Now, I'm hoping he's going to score at least 250 plus. We got left lung, stomach, intestine. And he scores 242.5. And that is not even close to as big as our first one or even the second one that we shot. So we pretty much wasted a ton of time on this. And we even hit a tree all for not even that big of a red deer stag. But luckily we had a backup plan. X Super Hot Steel messaged me on Steam and said that he had a big hog on his bait. So we're going to go over and check it out. Alright, so we just spawned in at X Super Hot Steel's map. And he's on the feeder right now, and the hog is right on the feeder next to him. But we decided to get in the tripod here, and... Oh, there's a coyote coming in. Alright, so the hog is about 300 meters away from us right now. And the goal is for X Super Hot Steel to fire a shot, and that should scare the hog in this direction. And as soon as he comes over here, we should be able to use a call and some scent and lure him in to make a nice shot. Well... That was the plan. It didn't really work out that way. But we do have a pretty nice coyote here. So we might as well try and take a shot on her. Alright, so she's walking out here at about 30-35 meters. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll hold for something like that. And wow, she actually dropped. That was a pretty good shot. Alright, so now we're going to get ready to get back on that male hog. And hopefully we can find where he went. See, X Super Hot Steel took a shot and the pigs were supposed to come this way. The problem is, I never saw any of them. So, we're going to have to head in the direction where I assume they should be. But first, let's pick up this coyote. It looks like we made a pretty good shot on her, actually. Yep, we got a lung and a liver on her. And she scores 39.3. Not bad. Alright, so now we're going to head back over here and try and cut off this feral hog. Alright, so X Super Hot Steel just spotted the hog. He's right out here in this field, and he's actually headed in our direction. Now, the one thing we need to make sure is that we have a good wind, and we actually have a horrible wind right now, but there's not much we can do. The good thing is, he's right here. We just spotted him. And he looks to be about 60 meters away. He has an estimate of 1,040 to 1140 on him, so he's definitely going to be a monster. He's a thousand plus for sure. And we're just going to crawl a little bit more forward here quick and pop up and take a son of a. So this female hog decided to charge us right when we were about in position to take a nice shot. That was unfortunate. So we have to fast travel to this tent and try and get back on his track again. All right. So we're just fast traveling back in now and we're spawned in right here. We found a pretty good spot where he should be. 
So we're going to put some scent out right here. But the problem is the wind's blowing right towards where he should be. Right over in that direction there by that tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and put out a call here. And then we're going to loop around to the back side of this hill. And hopefully he comes into this bait. Alright, so we just got into a pretty good position right now. And I can see a hog right there, but that's not him, unfortunately. But, however, there is another female up close. And I think we might need to take a shot. Or we might get charged. She's right there. But I do have tracers loaded in my recurve bow right now. So I don't feel like wasting any tracer arrows on a female hog. So what we're going to do is try and pop up and take her out with the regular arrows. And hopefully she doesn't charge. Well... I guess it's just not a good day for us today. Alright, so shortly after dying two times in a row, we got back on our track, and the male hog just called right up here. So he's less than 80 meters away. So what our goal is, is we're going to try and call here, loop around the backside, and get to a spot where we have a pretty decent wind. That way when he comes in, we can have a nice broadside shot. Alright, so I just spotted him. He's right here. He's about 55 meters away and closing. Now, we do have the recurve that we want to take him with. Um, I'm trying to get X super hot steel to get ready here. But the problem is, I need to get over about 20 meters to the right side. That way the hog doesn't come straight at us and smell us. So, we're going to try and get over this way just a little bit and see what happens. Alright guys, here he comes. He's right there. He's about 45 meters away, and he's coming right to us. Now, we have a pretty decent wind. The wind's pushing a little bit to the left of him, but he could still smell us if we're not careful, so we got to be careful. All right, so we're going to pop up right now and actually take a shot, but we realized we don't have tracers in. So we need to go prone really quick, and hopefully that big hog didn't see us. And then we'll load some tracers up, pop up as fast as we can, and try and take a shot. Now remember, the wind's still blowing right in his direction, and he can see us. And he literally just bolted the second before we took a shot. So, now we need to get back on his track, and hope that we can find him. Alright, well after a long time, we finally found him. Now we just need him to come in. So we just need to give him a call. And let him come in. I'm also going to have X super hot steel call too. Because if he calls, then it'll double the chances of him coming in. Also, it'll give me time to get over to the side. That way we can have a pretty decent win. So I saw him right about there. Alright, now I'm going to sneak over and get in position. There's a hill over here about 30 meters away. Should be perfect. Alright guys, here he comes. We finally have a chance at our monster feral hog. Let's try not to screw this up. Alright, here we go. And we just drilled him. You can see the lung blood right there. But we had to take a shot because he was about to bolt. Oh my god, he's down. Yeah, you could see he wasn't going to stick around too long. And plus he was getting pretty close to X Super Hot Steel, so we had to take a quick shot. But it turned out alright, and our luck changed, and we finally got ourselves a monster feral hog. Well, here he is down here. Let's pick him up and see what he scores. And we hit him in the shoulder blade, right lung and liver. And he scores 1,093.0.
So that is a monster hog. And he's definitely over a thousand plus. He actually was almost 1100 plus. So let's take a cool trophy shot of him. And yeah, we're definitely going to get him mounted. All right, that looks pretty cool. You can see the arrow sticking right through his shoulder blade. And here I am with X Super Hot Steel. We both have our pulsers out. And that's an awesome feral hog. So thanks a lot, X Super Hot Steel, for letting me know about this hog. And let's go head over to the Trophy Lodge and go take a look at our mounter feral hog. All right, guys, we're back here at the Trophy Lodge. And here is our 1093 scoring feral hog. And he actually is a little bit bigger than the last one we shot. Quite a bit bigger, actually. The last one that we shot was 980, I think. Maybe 990. But he was there. He was actually a cream-colored one. But this is a regular-colored one. Our goal was to get a hog that was 1,000+. plus, And this hog is definitely 1,000+. plus. He's actually almost 1,100. So probably without the deductions, he would score, I would imagine, like 1110 or 1106 or something like that. But here he is right here. So we have him next to our um, 1,143 wild boar, and he looks really cool there. The only problem is he's so high up in there, I really wish they could drop him down just a little bit. Like instead of these two being offset like that, they could be in a straight line, and they would be like side by side. Instead, one's kind of down, and one's up. And this one up here, I mean, he still looks good, but I just think it would look a little better if he was down just a little bit more. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.